and mercy and truth. The Bible says adulterers, adulteresses. Do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Whoever therefore is a friend of the world makes himself an enemy Thanks. of God. The Bible says it's a point of man for a man once to die, and after this comes the judgment. Hey, Amen. You believe in Jesus? You're going to meet him one day. Get yourself ready. They said, you believe in Jesus? Walk with Jesus. You're going to meet him one day. Could be tonight. Could be tomorrow. Get yourself ready. I'm here to warn you, to help you out. To make sure you're right with God. I love my neighbor. This is why I'm here. I love Jesus. And when you love Jesus, you want to talk about Jesus. You want to tell everybody about Jesus. About what he did for me. Tell you what he did for me. The wonderful things he did for him. Uh, for me. The wonderful things he did for me and what I want to do back and, and the wonderful things I want to do to him. When you love Jesus, you love your neighbor. If you love your neighbor, you love Jesus. If you don't love Jesus, you don't love your neighbor. If you don't love your, G your neighbor, you don't love Jesus. Are you ready to meet this guy? This man on a horse? Yes. Who is this man? This is the gospel track I'm passing today. Who is this man? Not too many people know about this man on the horse. Do you know who is this man on the horse is? Um, I don't know. No. You're not too sure? Are you, uh, you believe in God? Um, believe in Jesus? I'm kind of agnostic and open-minded, but um, I have a Marxist persuasion. Yeah. And um, the history of the church doesn't really align with my views about yeah. how society should work. But this is Jesus. He's oh. coming back. This is how he's coming back. Get yourself ready, my friend. I love you enough to tell you that. Get ready to meet this man on a horse. You know who that man is? No. That's Jesus. He's coming back. He said he's coming back. He's coming back like a warrior. I'm preaching you love. Love thy neighbor as yourself. Read the Bible to these wonderful little children. You believe in this man on the horse? He's coming back. Read the Bible. Read the Bible to the earth, those children. They need to know the truth. They need to know Jesus. You guys know who this man is on yeah, the horse? Thank you. He's coming back. Are you ready? He's coming back soon. He promised us he's coming back. I want you to introduce you to this man on the horse. Not too many people know about this man on the horse. You guys know who he is? Jesus. Jesus is coming back. He's coming back on a horse. Be ready on that day if you're not. He's going to separate you from the sheep. And you'll be his goat. And you will be the goat. Don't be the goat on that day, my friend. Be a sheep. Follow Jesus. Believe in Jesus. He's the only way to make it to heaven. There's no other way but, but through Jesus. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. John 3.3. 3. You believe in this guy? You know who he is? You know who this guy is? No, I don't. 
He's coming back, eh? He's coming back like on a horse. He promised he's coming back. God be ready. You gotta meet him one day. We're all gonna meet him one one day. But not before the Antichrist comes back. You believe in Jesus? Do you believe in this man called Jesus? He's coming back. This is the man how he's gonna come back on a horse. Separate the sheep with the goat. Coming like a warrior. Not like a baby in a manger anymore. He came once for that. <clears throat> to show you how to be saved. This time he's coming for judgment. Get ready, my friend. I'm here to warn you. Those days are coming. Those days are coming. Believe in Jesus. Trust in Jesus. Come to Christ. It's a point in time for man wants to die and after this comes the judgment. Do you know this guy on the horse? Nope. You know who that is? No, I'm not interested. You're not interested? Well, you'll have to meet him when you're going to meet him one day. You're going to be interested. Comes, I'll be meeting him. Well, are you ready? Yeah, That's I'm a thing. Well, all right. I hope you are, sir. A nice meeting you. I love my neighbor. That's why I'm out here trying, trying to tell my neighbor everything and what, what they need to know. So uh, this is one reason why he said that he's coming back, but he's coming back like a, a warrior. Came first to save people, how to show them how to be saved. The second time is coming for the judgment. Be ready. I'm ready. Are you following him? Do you believe in him? No, I do not. I don't even know who he is. That's Jesus Christ. Okay. That's Jesus Christ. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one I'm comes really to the Father. That. Uh, I'm not interested. Thank you. Well, I just want to warn you. I'm busy. Yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, I know you're busy. Yeah, Sorry so if you're busy. Carry on. But it should be important that I'm you should know. Well, all right. Well, yeah, you're going to be interested on that day when day. he comes. I hope you'll be ready, sir, because if you're not you're not right now. I don't think so. If you're still sitting, you're not ready. You've got to be born again. Got to be born again. You believe in this man? Oh, boy. Say grace. Say thank you for the food you eat. You guys know this guy? We're okay. Thank you, though. You guys know who this guy is? We're okay. We're in He's Jesus now. Christ. He's coming back. Thank you. He said that. He's coming back. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Say grace. Say thank you for the food you you're having. You it's been taped, yeah. I don't give you permission. Well, you don't need permission. You're out in public. Have yourself a good day. Come to Christ. He's soon coming back. I love my neighbor. That's why I'm here to warn you and to be prepared for a second coming. He's soon to come. You guys believe in this man? This man is called Jesus Christ. That's how he's coming back. He'll be full of blood. Execute judgment. Oh my Lord, my Lord. So many people are on the wide road of destruction. Very few are on the narrow road of salvation, of life. As we believe in this man, you know who he is? Jesus Christ. He's coming back. Jesus Christ is coming back. Hello, hello you little fella. Cute little kids. Read the Bible to them. They need to know the words of God. You need to teach them about Jesus. Jesus died for us on the cross. Jesus died on the cross for us to save us from our sins and have eternal life. 
why people don't want to believe in that. Isn't that some great news? Is it some great news? You want something to read? And you know who this guy is on the, in the picture on the horse? Do you know who he is? That's Jesus Christ. He's coming back like that, he says. He promised us he's coming back a second time. First time he came as a baby in a manger. Second time he's coming as a as a warrior. Here, you can read it. There's something in the back. Oh, no, thank you. While you're waiting, you can have this and read it. All right, well, then be ready for that day. Tell your mother about it. Come to Christ. I love my neighbor. I want them to know about this. <laughs> you guys believe in Jesus? No, I guess not. I guess not. No. You don't seem to. They're not interested in Jesus Christ. The Bible said, in mercy and truth, atonement is provided for iniquity, and by the fear of the Lord, ones depart from evil. Because the devil comes to kill and steal and destroy. But Christ came that you might have life and life abundantly. Behold, the day is coming, burning like an oven. And all the proud, yes, all who do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day which is coming which shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts. Blessed are those who do the commandments and they might ha have the right of tree of life and might enter through the gate into the city. But outside are dog and sexually immoral and murderers and idolaters and anyone who loves and practices a lie. Come to me who labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in life, and, and you find rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Come to Christ. You know this person on the horse? Who he is? That's Jesus Christ. You're going to meet him one day. You ready? We're all going to meet him one day. Might be sooner than we think. Get yourself ready. Come to Christ. I'm trying to save your... Get your people ready for that day. Yeah. yeah. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I'm gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your soul for my yoke is easy my burden is light friends do not be of those do not be afraid of those that can kill the body and after that no more that they can do but i will show you who you should fear fear here who after he has killed has power has power to cast into hell yes i say to you fear him Bible says that you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexual believe in Jesus, no sodomites, no drunkards will inherit the kingdom of God. You know who that person is? Uh, I don't know, but his horse is not happy. <laughs> he's Gabriel? not. I he's, suppose it's Gabriel. No. 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 
No, you're wrong. Luke, Was it? Luke Skywalker. <laughs> no. No idea. You believe in God? You believe in Jesus? Well, I, I believe in Jesus. I don't, I don't think that's him riding a uh, Yes, that's to, him. Uh, that's how he's going to come yeah. back a second time. I don't know, man. He came uh, first time as a baby in a manger to save us from our sin. Mm. And the uh, second time he's coming for the judgment. Oh, I, I, I think that. Yeah. I definitely think it's going to well, be that's what serious he's gonna, judgment. He's, and uh, it's going to be... Uh, the climate is going to be judge, jury, and executioner on uh, on uh, on all this fantasy yeah, here. Yeah, that's I know. So I, I, know. I know that's happening. Yeah, yeah. Without well, a doubt, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Not much sooner than anybody realizes. Yeah. I go to work just so I can pay my bills. But, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. believe in God. Trust in yeah. Him. Well, I know you still have to work. You know, you got to keep. I, I I do. It's a it's a fundamental part of me, and I do believe in, uh, 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 in the message. Mm -hmm. And I, I am. You read the Bible? I, 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 the message, Jesus' message, to be a, yeah. a good human. Have you, being. Have you read? I, I do think that there have. The Bible is written by men, and I do believe that uh, that uh, our disconnect happened at, at the fundamental understanding that natural law is, is a, a, a symbiotic relationship with all the, the nature around us. Yeah. And we, we've been living outside of that. Of those, outside of those rules since the dawn of man so yeah the bible was written by man but inspired by the holy spirit by god well, that's how they were able because I, there's a lot of prayer yeah. pre uh, prophecy in them has mm -hmm. been fulfilled to the letter obviously they must have got perhaps. that message from somebody who knows the future well perhaps which is god. Yeah, i think a lot there's a lot of stuff that was added in uh, uh yeah, I don't, I don't know. Just Maybe like I, Isaiah. Who am I to decide uh, what, what parts were uh, added in and, and, and what parts were, uh, you know. You know guess, Isaiah? You know Isaiah? If yeah. you read Isaiah chapter 53, he predicts 700 years before the, the Messiah, the, king, the Messiah to come. Mm. 700 years. How could he knew about it? And he well, described him sort of exactly the, the way it the happened. The same sort of... Uh, Deity came came about in the uh, in the uh, Egyptian religion too. Like you know, there was uh, so I just think that uh, times require uh, a, uh, an incredible intervention, or, or at least uh, the hope for one. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, uh, yeah, it, there, it ain't gonna be uh, it ain't gonna be a, anybody holding our hand. You know, like well, we're, it won't be gonna, a good gonna, day for those who are not ready to meet Jesus. Um, but you know, by the way, what's your name? For anybody, right? Yeah. I mean, by the like, way, what's your name? Yeah, Randy. Hi, Randy. Yeah. My name is Jean-Pierre. Uh, nice nice meet to meet you, Jean -Pierre. you. Yeah, well, like I said, Jesus Christ is supposed to come back. But before he comes, I don't know if you read it in, in the book of Revelation and also in Isaiah, they are talking about an Antichrist. I, yeah, I, I think we, we followed that is a tough prophecy time. like a roadmap. You know, uh, instead, is, of, instead of taking it as a warning, because that's to me, that's... That's what it was. It was a warning, and we followed it like a roadmap instead. And we just you know, yeah, well, got to be getting ourselves. The, the, the uh, most evil among us are, are thriving, you know, and they're still thriving. And, and you can see the disparities between the haves and have-nots, and you know. Well, and, we and you always can keep tracing it back to, you know. So. We always will have poor people among us. There's mm -hmm. nothing you can do at a, well, about it. Yeah. You can solve the problem, help a little bit to reduce the amount, mm -hmm. but I, it, I think I think the entire design is flawed because we feel that one and that's why what my issue is uh, with, with the because I don't think there's one person alive today that's more valuable than another I don't think there's a, there's a there's a, a, no, a species equal. that's more valuable than another because it's all part of this like it's like a yeah, we're all one equal in God's eyes. We're all you equal. You need the bark, you need the, the yeah. leaf, you need the... Yeah. We're the all equal in God's eyes, yeah. and that's why we're created in yeah. His image. So we're all the same. Yeah. I mean, well, we should all be... Uh, he looks at us equally as anybody. Either you're black well, or white or... I also have an issue with that, too. Uh, the, the, the whole he thing. You know, like I... Who says that it's a uh, masculine... Because Jesus he, said. Uh, Jesus was a man. Yeah, well, so and his said, father. So said. His I father. Don't, I don't know. He father is masculine father. Perhaps, obviously perhaps. yeah perhaps. no you just got to believe the yeah, word well, of god whatever it says that, well I do don't that, try it don't try to add something else it's father no, but I do it's a man that, uh, the, the planet but is, he was is a spirit a, is a feminine i mean it's a it's a feminine uh, where the planet 
the planet, the what? life giver. I mean, show me one example of a male. Uh, 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 yeah, but who created who life, created yeah. this world? Yeah. It's a man. So it's a man's world. It's a, it's a I world. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I, honestly, I think uh, I think man has been running it uh, that way for uh, you know since the beginning. Yeah. So yeah, that's, but that's I, 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 I wouldn't call this uh, mother work. Mother, earth. it's man. It's father's earth. He's the one who created. It. There's no such thing as mother earth or this yeah, thing. Well, it's that's just unfortunate it, because if. If we were to listen to, 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 it, to it was cultures, somebody who had that name. Yeah, Here, no, I'll I, give you I, one. I won't keep it. I won't, I won't keep well, it. Thank well, you. you can read it. Yeah, no. Pass it around. Yeah, no, no. no. It's I'll a message. Me, I'm doing my little part. I write songs. Yeah, well, well, write some gospel songs. I, I do. Write some song for I, I, uh, do some I glorify Jesus I Christ Easter, with songs. I, I went. I went to church with my mom for East uh, for Easter, and. Um, uh, I made a mistake. I, I, I didn't hear what the what the, the, the priest said. Um, what, um, the the psalm. The, not yeah. The psalm, the, yeah. 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 The psalm. It. Yeah. It's a it's a yeah. The hymn. Uh, anyway, so I, I went to uh, 452, and it it, it, it was uh, he comes to those uh, uh, comes to us as one unknown, and so but it was a mistake because it was supposed to be another one. But but I but I hung on to that. And then I, 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 I put in uh, a chord progression that I that I got from a, a man who seemed like a genuine, you know, he, he walked uh, he walked in uh, in Jesus's uh, way, and uh, he gave me a chord progression that he that that I had never even considered before, and so I applied it to that, and I was able to sing that song that hymn for my mom, uh, like instantly with it was just with that chord progression, and it worked out really well. So, you know, that's how I feel too. It's uh, it's. Uh, you know, it could be yeah. me, it could be me, it could be anybody on the street, yeah. uh, you know, expressing uh, yeah. truth. You know? yeah. so, anyway. Well, anyway, have yourself a good day. Yeah. Nice meeting you. Peace nice, be uh, nice uh, to talk to you. I uh, appreciate your uh, stopping by and giving me a time yeah. to talk to you. I appreciate That's it what too. neighbors are supposed to be: uh, loving I, your neighbor I'm, as yourself. I'm grateful for every yeah. second, every person I meet. I'm, I'm grateful for. Uh, well, yeah. you like talking to people, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, yeah. you see, uh, I'm like that too. Yeah. But anyway, I hope you all see you in heaven one day. You gotta fun. stay holy. You gotta stop sinning. You must. You know this what you flesh. have to this do is too. The most perfect place in the, in the universe. Do you know what flesh. you have to do too? I don't know if anybody told you. You gotta be born again, eh? Um, if you're not born again, you will not see the kingdom uh, of God. That's yeah. what Jesus said. I, I think my suffering, I, I've already gone through it. Yes. No, I'll it's not that. That's not what it is. Well, born again means change your life around yeah. completely. Yeah. Receive well, have, the Holy yeah. Spirit. I have. Ask anybody that, that knows me from, uh, from a decade ago. Yeah, is, yeah, I'll tell you that I'm a completely different person. Yeah, but you got to receive the Holy Spirit. He's got to dwell inside of you. Something, something's making me create an art. Uh, well, then... Go around and preach the gospel while singing. I was, uh, yeah, I will. How about you sing it with guitar I will, I and will, sing I will, while I you... I will, I will, I will dude. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Yeah. God bless you. Father, how can you put some words in somebody who doesn't stop talking? Just like this. You believe in Jesus? Uh -huh. Um, there's a lot to talk about, but still not interested in what I want to say. Hi, do you believe in Jesus? Do you know that Jesus Christ is coming back, eh? When? What would you have your head? Which Trust language? in Jesus. Trust, oh, okay. Trust. I thought that it's uh, Amharic language. Yes, you thought you know, it was what? You know Ethiopian language? Ethiopian? Ethiopia. Ethiopian, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, East Africa, big yeah, country, yeah, Ethiopia. Yeah. Oh, I know yeah. e Ethiopia, the country, but not the language. I don't know. Yeah. I can't speak the Ethiopian. Was that how you call it? Your language, Ethiopian? No, uh -huh. I, we call Amharic. Uh -huh, okay. No, I don't know how to speak that language. It must be a, yeah. a tough language, isn't it? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Very tough. So you know that it's not language? Like, it's not, yeah, yeah. And you it's know English? Like, yeah, I know. You know that. French too? Yes. Oh, oui, je sais. oh, très bien, très bien. That's excellent. You know three languages. I only know two. So you're ahead of me. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so you could. Anyway, I'm passing you this gospel track. I don't know if you believe in Jesus. I believe in Muhammad. Uh, oh, Allah. Allah. Yeah. Allah. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's only one God. Yeah. And uh, the one is Abba. You know that. You know that. Abba. 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 Yeah. yeah. 
the God of uh, Abraham, Abraham, Isaac, and all, all Jacob. All the same, same, same. No, yeah. no, no, not no? the same. No. No. Mohammed and the Muslim, Muslim don't believe in Jesus Christ as a, as a but son they, of God. They believe one God, you know. Mm? Yeah, one God, but we believe one God, but in three persons: the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's the God. that's the uh, that's Christian. A, yeah, that's a Christian God. That the they believe God. three. We believe in one God, but in three persons. Who is the God? For the Father is the Godhead. He's the one on top. And who after is, that, Jesus Christ that? comes. Yahweh. What's the, his name? The top one. Yahweh. Or J Yahweh. 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 Okay. Who's the Yahweh? Yahweh is the God of, of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Oh, okay. I am. The great I am. Oh. That's, a, that's him also. And... Uh, Let me say Allah. It's Yahweh. Yahweh. Yeah, well, he's only one God, though. Yeah. yeah. But we, what we, has your your God done for you? What did he do for you? To, for you? How, for you how are you going to be... By the way, what's your name? My name is Ahmed. A -H Hi, Ahmed. Hi, my Ahmed. My name is Jean-Pierre. Nice meeting you, Ahmed. Me too. I like to talk to my Muslim friends. Yeah. Uh, they're my neighbor as well as That's anybody else. Yeah, I love them just as anybody else. Yeah. We all need salvation. We all need to be saved. We're yeah. all going to die one day. One day. But yeah. it's the question where we're going to end up, either in heaven or right. hell. Right. And there's only two places. You go to heaven if you're good. Yeah. You have done good. You have to believe in God, yeah. trust in God, be born again, be baptized, and receive the Holy Spirit. Okay. That is the Christian way of, of being a salvation. And the reason why we are able to say that is because Jesus Christ is the only one who died on the cross to save us from our sin and that's the only way and Jesus Christ came as a man fully man but he's fully divine as well he's also God it's our prophet too uh, Jesus Jesus yeah yes but do you believe that he's the son of God Jesus the, uh, we know say the, the son of the God yeah, let's see that's what, the difference yeah. that that's what he is to us and that's what Jesus said too I am the son a son of God he didn't literally say it that way. Do we, our way, we say is that God doesn't have a kid. That's have right, a, I know. It's only... Yeah, yeah. Well, your God is only alone up there. Alone, yeah. And how can he have love if he's only alone up there? My God has a relationship with a son and the Holy Spirit. That's the only time you can really show love. When you have a son. Like me, if I have a son, I have love for my family. I love my son, I love my wife, I love my kids. I, just, I can express my love in that way, but if I'm alone at home, no wife, no kids, I can't give any love. Did, did you see Yahweh? Did you see? I've uh, received by, uh, uh, by testimony, I can tes testify that I did somehow receive it because it completely changed my life around. Without that, that would have been impossible. Like I saw you, do you see it like this? No, I didn't see him personally, no. But I could feel it through the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, when Jesus came down to this world to save us from our sin, show us how to live, died on the cross for, to wash away our sin, now he's way back up in heaven next to his father on the right side of the throne. You but he, when he said he was gonna leave, He's going to leave. When Jesus said he was ascending into heaven, he said, I'm going to leave somebody <clears throat> that will replace me when I'm gone. And that's the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is inside of me now because I've been born again. I received the Holy Spirit because I've been baptized. He dwells inside my heart, my, my life, my spirit. And without him, without there, I could not fight against sin. I can conquer sin now. I'm a changed man, completely changed man. I'm, I did 180 degrees. And another reason why you can tell that you received the Holy Spirit, if anybody would have told me one day, JP, my name is Jean Pierre, you're gonna go out and outside in public and preach. You French side or you English side? I, well, I lately I'm only doing it on the English side, but I will how, go and get to know and say it in French how, too. What's your last name? Dostler. 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 Oh, okay. yeah. So. You know, if somebody would have told me about three or four years ago that you're gonna go out in public and preach to us, are you crazy? I'm an introvert. I'm a shy person. I'm not that type of guy. And look at what I'm doing. 
But you, uh, this I is have, the Holy Spirit yeah. telling me doing this. But we have, I have a question. You see his son, Yahweh, yes? Yahweh is the yeah. father. No, yes. it's the father, yes? You see his son, yes? It's, I received uh, Jesse. I, it's Jesus. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You see it, yes? yes I didn't no? see him. No, somebody see it. We know he's uh, oh. us. Well, he came down to earth. Yeah, he yeah. revealed himself. Yeah. We can see man. like you, me, before when he came here. In, and the end of the of the humanity is coming. Yes, come back. Yes, coming that back. You why? Why you not see his father? Well, you can't see his father. Nobody has seen his father. He's too holy. If you would see the father, you would die. You could not face him. We're sinners. We're oh, okay. sinners. We cannot face God. Nobody has seen God yet. Only Jesus Christ and the angels satan have seen god as a matter of fact but us no we can't we cannot see even if jesus would appear in front of me he would be so bright it was almost like me looking at the sun directly to the sun i could not see him he's so bright and holy i'm a sinner but i'm not a sinner anymore i quit sinning i'm a holy man i'm perfect in christ now i'm an old man everything has passed away and i become a new creature creation whole thing has passed away now i live holy i live for god now for totally for him nice to meet you gp same with me nice to uh, we will meet you next time maybe one day yeah. we never know <laughs> you live in ottawa yes okay since I, uh, 33 years 33 years ago yeah, yeah. you were born here then no i never born but you look you look 33 years old no you're, you're Jesus Christ age. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm more than that, my friend. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, well, okay. Well, what part of your country you're from? Yeah, Ethiopia. Ethiopia, yeah, yeah, but what part in it's, Ethiopia? It's the east side. East of Ethiopia. Well, Ethiopia is, uh, I think it's mentioned in the Bible. Yeah. They, uh, Syria have, and Lebanon and uh, we Libya. Have lots, we have lots of uh, Ethiopian who believe uh, yeah. Ethiopian, yeah. I mean, there was a, a, a passage in the Bible about... Uh, uh, you never went to there, yes? Mm -hmm. You never went to there, yes? No, I never went there. In Africa? No, I never went there. Maybe one day I will. I don't know if I can. I'm getting old too, you know. Yeah, yeah. You walk. That's, that's important. Yeah, yeah. Well, with this COVID and all this vaccine that we have to to, we, to wear to have, uh, uh, I mean you can't travel as much yeah, as you I can know, as yeah, easily yeah, anymore right. plus I only got one vaccine I didn't oh, take... I get three yeah but I I don't I'm you not, not taking anymore you know no. yeah. only for one reason the reason I, the reason why I took the first one I didn't know but I found out after I had I took it that they use aborted baby stem cells to test it if it was consumable for oh. people to take it and I'm a pro-life person. They're not gonna kill a baby to save my life. You're right. You can, you can, I can get the uh, kids. Is that a problem? Yeah? Me, I can, you know, I have three sons. I no, was... right now. You mean when you vaccinated? Yes. You can get the baby, is that true? Is that what they say? No, I, they said they use baby stem cells, aborted baby stem cells. Oh. They took the aborted baby yeah. and test in the in the vaccine oh. to see if it's oh. consumable. Oh, they're not, if they're doing that, I'm not going to take it. Oh. I'd rather die. They're not going to kill somebody to give see? me my life. I should give my life to a baby. <laughs> yeah. I have my choice. I had the freedom to live. Why don't I give them the freedom to live? They have the right to. See you, my friend. Same to you. Okay. Have yourself a good stay Thank in Canada. You. Thank you, sir. Nice meeting you. It's been a pleasure to see you. Too, God bless you, sir. Okay. Believe in Jesus. He's coming back. You believe in Jesus? I mean, I believe in God. I don't believe in organized religion. You know what I mean? Because I think there's a lot of messed up stuff about organized religion. Well, the only true God is... All around us, man. There's only one God.
so there's a God of Yahweh. I bury him in Isaac and Jacob. No, we're not. They're not. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Other religion might have been. No, I'm not Catholic. I used to be Catholic, but not anymore. I'm just a Christian. Born again Christian. Bible believer, Bible obey, born again Christian. I don't belong to any denomination. You play well. I think as long as you're spreading peace and love, you're fine. Yeah, well. I just love my neighbor. I want all them to be saved. I always, I want them all to go to heaven. We're all gonna die one day, so hopefully they'll make it over there. I'm spreading that kind of news, and you're spreading your song through the, the songs. Yeah. Yeah. What's your name, by the way? Declan. My name is Declan. Hi, Declan. Nice meeting you, Declan. God bless you. Okay. God bless you. Jean Pierre. Javier. Jean Pierre. Yeah. Jean JP. Ah, cool. Jean Pierre. Have a good day, Jean Pierre. You too. Bye bye. So many different people, different backgrounds, different ideas, different beliefs. Yes, we are definitely an international country. Different religions all over the place. It's pretty hard for those Christians who are Christians to stay Christian because now they have so many variety in religion that there's enough of them that they can become part of their religion. In my days, it was only Christianity, so the only religion that was professing and showing you. And you're able to stick to your own religion and not follow any other religion. But now you have so many different religions that, you know, if one finds that that religion sounds better, well, I'm going to become that religion. Be part of that religion. Well, my friend, there's only one. Only one God, and that's through Jesus Christ. It's the only way to make it to heaven. There's no other way to make it to heaven. People know about this guy and the picture, in the picture. Jesus Christ is coming back. Did you guys know he's coming back a second time? He's coming back. Jesus says, I'm coming back a second time. Might be sooner, might be sooner than we think. But before it comes, the Antichrist is supposed to come. There will be a terrible time for anybody to live through that period of time. An antichrist will have the power to control the whole world. Just imagine that. Say grace. Say thank you to God for the food you're eating. Have yourself a good day. Don't say, don't forget to say thank you, Father. Thank you, O oh Lord, for the food I'm about to have. You believe in Jesus? You don't? We're all gonna meet him one day. He said he's coming back. You wanna share your belief with me? Uh, no, not at the moment, thanks. You believe in God or any? And what kind I'll of God? Sharing you? my beliefs with you, wouldn't it? Hey? No thanks. Here, yeah, you wanna read something? Come to Christ, we're all gonna meet him one day. That's for sure. Hey, oh Lord, thank you for the food I'm eating today. Bless you, bless you. Thank you for the food I'm eating. So many people in the restaurant, I don't even know if they even say grace. I don't even know if they say thank you, Father, for the food I'm about to have. It's because of you I'm able to have it. How much people don't think of you anymore. It's so sad. Especially what you've done for us and you're still giving us 
the food we need at the table, You're giving us a harvest in the fourth season. So we don't go hungry, despite for everything we do. You know this guy? Keep going. You know this guy? I don't know what you're talking about. You know who he is? Who is it? Jesus Christ is oh, coming yeah. back. He's coming back, is he? Yes, yes. He's coming back like this. Really? Like that? And what's that? On mean? a white horse. On a white horse? Yeah. As opposed to a black horse. White horse is uh, symbolized victory and uh, power and victory conquering. Of what? Victory of what? Victory victory to uh to successfully gain what he came in this world for where is he show him to me he's everywhere there's a tree up there no, that's nature that's not god yeah but he created it he made he created that oh yeah yeah oh, that's amazing isn't it who make this building a couple guys oh yeah. oh it wasn't just made on its own it didn't just pop up. Somebody made it, eh? I don't need your little sky fairy to fucking validate my existence. Well, right? That's fact, sir. That's fact. That's exactly fact. What is that? It needs exactly a, a it fact. It needs a builder. What? What? Just like the earth was created by a superior human being, no, which is God. No, the air was like, look. All so how was it created? no superior human being. How do you know all? that? How do you know that? Were you there? Look, I am here right now, am I not? I am here right now too. You were created by God. No, I wasn't. Yes, I, I you was were. a biological product of my parents. Yeah, and your parents. Who create your parents? Oh, would you stop and if with we this guy, daddy go, bullshit? Well, listen, you know, listen, I'm listening because, to your sky because daddy, your idea okay? that is is flawed, sir. You don't understand. I do understand. Who entirely. created the first human being? Then Adam and Eve. There's oh, really? only two, yes, only two people that came in this world. Yeah. So somebody had to create So them. that little piece of rib and all that nonsense is real, is it? It is real, definitely. It says it in the Bible. It says it in the Bible, yes. so it has to be fact. Yeah, it is definitely fact. It's the words of God, sir. Read the Bible and you'll see. It will Look, show I've read the Bible. I was brought up Catholic. I've been to the Vatican Museum. I've seen the artifacts that they've stolen from the yes. original people. I I'm know. Not I'm, I, I'm not look, Catholic. Look, you're all of your nonsense. I'm not Catholic. All of sir. your nonsense. I don't believe in the Catholicism. I don't believe you them. Believe they've done. In, you believe in God. Not the same which, God as no, the Catholic. No, listen. No, it's yeah, not it's the not same the same God as the Catholic. It is not the same God. I thought it was all God was created. Man was created equal under one eye of God. There's only one God. Yeah. If there's only if if you believe in God. Mm -hmm. It's the same God for the Muslims, the same no, God, absolutely. absolutely. Absolutely not. Absolutely. That's the, the way Muslims, you don't know it, sir. Absolutely. The Muslims don't believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. They're not the same. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. They don't believe He no. died on the cross. They don't believe Neither He rose do again. I. There is no Son of God then, that died on the cross. Then it's not the same there God. Is, there is there is it's no not the same God. There is no Noah's Ark. You're gonna meet Jesus one day, ma'am. You better be ready. You better be there ready. Is no Noah's I love Ark. my neighbor enough to tell you. Well, there, be there ready. There is no Noah's Ark. There is no God. Well, Deal you're gonna it. see him on one day, sir. And what you I've been telling you, you kind of exactly. You can tell me all you want. You're gonna die one day, sir. I just don't want you to go to hell, sir. I'm guaranteed not to go to hell. Where are you gonna go if you don't believe in God? If you don't believe in God, where are you gonna end up then? If I don't believe in God, why do I have to end up anywhere? Am I not part of the universe? Well, I'm telling you, there is a God and everybody has a choice. They have a choice. Either they want to go there to heaven. There is a God that has got you under control, isn't there? There's new... God has you under his control. I have my choice. No, you it's my choice. choice. A you choice I made my choice. He's you not under your... control. He's not forcing me. Absolutely. Hey, Miriam. Believe in Jesus. She even got a cross on her earrings. That's great. That's Doesn't mean nothing, though. It's up to her. 
Yeah, it's up to her. She's got a choice like I have a choice, you have a choice. You have your choice to walk around and try and tell people about your Sky Daddy, and that's it's fine. not Sky Daddy. You're well, going to face him. You're going to face him, sir. I'm not afraid to face whatever. Well, when you see it, sir, you're going to ask for mercy. I'm warning for you, mercy. sir. For mercy. I you need won't mercy have it. now. You won't have it. You won't, you won't give it. Mercy is only given How do to you, you know? here. How do you know I need mercy? Because you're a sinner like everybody else. Oh, sinners. Oh, First of all, if you don't believe in mercy. God, you're condemned already, sir. If you don't oh, believe in Jesus, you're... That's the biggest crock of well, garbage sir, anybody has I'm ever I'm just spewed. trying to warn you. Just I've trying been to warn you. You're gonna, you're gonna, yeah, often in the Rialto, but you are going to face Jesus one day. And if you're not ready, sir, I don't want you to go to you hell. I love Jesus you. Jesus people have a place on your own. Go get on your little boat. No, I'm, and, this and is my this is my world right here. Get on my neighbors. I love my neighbor oh, enough I'm to sure tell them. You, do. I'm do sure you love you do. your neighbor enough to tell them about where? I love my neighbor enough to take them off the street. I love my neighbor yeah. enough to bring them in out of the cold. That's what I do. That it's only temporarily, sir. What you're doing. I love them enough to give them something for eternity. Oh, you have the power to give something. I don't for have eternity? the power. Okay. I don't have the power. I'm just trying to show them how to get there. Dude. I'm giving something that they will last for eternity. You're only doing for them for that is only temporarily. You're only thinking of them in this world. But what about after they die? After they die. Oh after my. they die. Now you Where do they go? You're gonna save the whole world. After I'm not die? saying that I'm going to save the whole world. Jesus Christ could not even save the whole world. Oh, you can't save the whole world from crazy, that's for sure. I'll see you later. No, I don't think we'll see each other, but maybe Just in some... And, and do not ever, ever right. use right. my image on your freaking crazy talk. Yes, you're going to be on it, sir. This is my oh, my video. I'm allowed to take video as well. You're not in public. With my, not without my consent. No, you no. Use I don't it. need your consent, yes, sir. You no, yes. you've got cameras. Are you going to ask the people to stop taking a picture of you? You're walking out. You're walking what? everywhere Dude. here in the city. Dude. You've been filmed everywhere you go, sir. Go ahead, take a picture of me. I don't mind. Download it in your, uh, on your uh, email or to your friends. By the way, what's your name, sir? I don't want to be a, I, a, I, ignorant. I am, I, am, I, I just am, love you, sir. I want you to be safe. My name is Chris. I am very right, safe, sir. and I have absolutely right. no time. But for I this don't know guy why. Daddy why? Nonsense. But why? But but why did you uh, leave uh, your faith? What happened? I read the Doctrine of Discovery at fourteen uh, fifty-three, yeah. and that was what all of these Christian religious what? nonsense were based on. Okay, so none of them have a factual basis in reality. Yeah. I was raised Catholic too, Chris, and I'm not Catholic anymore. Oh, it's obviously you've gone to the to the other side. I believe side in the Bible. I'm a Bible believer, Bible born Bible again thumper, Christian. Born again Christian. Yeah, I don't well, belong to any denomination. I belong in Jesus Christ's body, his church. That's all it is. Just like the apostle. No, you're not just I don't like belong to any they're all the false dinosaurs. religion. You don't believe in dinosaurs. You don't believe sure, in Sure, I do believe in dinosaurs. Well, the well, Bible they're not in the Bible. Well, yes, they are. Well, then be behemoth. What does behemoth have a stand great for? Day. Behemoth means really big. <laughs> well, exactly. Dinosaurs. And the word dinosaur was not invented at that time. But there were dinosaurs. Read the Bible completely. You got it all wrong, sir. You only like what you like to hear. Come to Christ. The only way to make it to heaven. Here, you want something to read? No. Know this guy you know this guy oh I saw you just a minute ago well it's, it's Jesus Christ you guys know Jesus Christ is coming back come to Christ we're gonna meet him one day we're all gonna meet him we're gonna die that's one thing guaranteed that is a guarantee there's nothing you can do about it we're all gonna meet Jesus one day be ready to meet him I'm here to warn you. I love you enough to tell you the truth. 
I love my neighbor. God told me to love God with all my heart, with all my my soul, with all my strength. And the second one is to love you, thy neighbor as yourself. Well, if I love God, I gotta love my neighbors. And if I love my neighbor, but doesn't love God, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. Believe in Jesus. You guys believe in Jesus? Are you ready to meet him? Uh, you're going to meet Jesus one day? That's how he's coming. You believe in Jesus? Hey? Eh? Come to Christ. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. For by grace you have been saved through faith, not of yourself, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. But we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared before us before it so we can walk in him. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life god does not send the son to con to the world to condemn the world but to the world through him might be saved he that believe in jesus is not condemned but he who does not believe is condemned already he's not believing the only begotten son of god the bible says the man, God, command all men everywhere to repent because there's coming a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness. God does not take the life of the death of the wicked, but rather that they turn and live. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 7, and having food and clothing, with these we shall be content, but those who desire to be rich fall into temptation and the snare and to many foolish and harmful lusts which drown man in destruction and perdition he died for all that those who live should live no longer for themselves but for him who died for them and rose again he who overcomes shall inherit all things and I will be his God and he shall I'll be my son. But the cowardly, the unbelieving, the abominable, murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake of birds and fire and brimstone, which is the second death. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. You guys believe in Jesus? No, sorry. Going to see him one day, going to meet him one day. We're all going to meet him one day. I want you to be ready. Come to Christ now. Today is salvation. I love my neighbor. Love you guys. I love everybody. I want to tell them the truth. The truth will set you free. The truth will set you free. Come to Christ. You want to believe? Do you believe in Jesus, sir? I'm not a Jehovah Witnesses. I'm only a Bible believer, Bible obeying, born again Christian. That's all I am. I'm just spreading the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Nobody wants to hear it. What a shame, especially what he has done for us. They ignore him. I wonder if those people 
You guys believe in Jesus? You guys know he's coming <laughs> back, eh? You gotta believe in Jesus. Died on a cross for you. Come on. Hey, I wonder if they were invited to a to a place where they want to celebrate their birthday. Let's say they know it's your birthday. And they say, come on, let's celebrate your birthday. And they bring you to a to a house. And there's other there. There's a hundred people in, in that place there to celebrate your birthday. But while you're there, they ignore you. They don't even come to talk to you. They leave you in a the corner. They don't even want to have a conversation with you. You're just sitting there in a the corner. Nobody doesn't even acknowledge you're there. Don't even think they want to talk to you, but they're celebrating your birthday. How would they feel like that? How would they feel that they were treated like that? Well, that's exactly what they're doing to Jesus Christ. They ignore him. Left and right, top and rock, bottom, everywhere, back and forth, all direction. Eh, believe in Jesus? Uh, in Jesus you believe in Jesus You're gonna meet him one day died for you on the cross died for you on the cross believe in Jesus you gotta meet him please I want you guys to be saved yeah breaks my heart breaks my heart to see so many are not ready so many are not ready. You know, maybe it's not quite their fault in a way. I mean, they might think I'm crazy. I'm drunk. And on drugs. Well, they don't want to come close to a person like that. I can understand that. I probably would do the same too. Yeah. Standing in the shade, eh? Oh, yeah. How nice. are you? Good. How are you? How about yourself? You know this guy? <laughs> oh, no. Don't know who that is? Who is this? If you believe in Jesus, oh, okay. you will know he's coming back. That's how he's coming back. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Yeah. Came down in this world, died for us on the cross so we could be saved, save us yeah, from our sin. Like, yeah. And he, before he left, he was ascending. He said, the angel said, this is coming back. Okay. Second time. First time he came as a baby in a manger. Came as a man. Mm -hmm. Incarnated to a, to a man. Fully divine, fully God. Are you a priest? No, I'm not a priest. No. Yeah. Well, literally I'm not a priest, like, like a Catholic priest or anything like that. But for those who are childs of God, sons of God, or are perfect in Christ, they do become priests in a way. But I'm not, I'm not a pastor. Oh, okay. I'm just going by on the, in the street corner and preach. Oh. Pass gospel track to my neighbors, which I love my neighbor. God told me to do, to love my neighbor, to love him first and love my neighbor. And I stop by and I, you're my neighbor. That's good, yeah. Yeah. Good to know that, yeah. I suppose you're not Christian, right? Eh? Uh, I'm not Christian, yeah. Yet? No. Will you ever be a Christian? Oh, no, but I, I studied in Christian Catholic school. Okay, like, yeah, uh, yeah. I do have all my friends priest like there. Yeah. I follow Jesus, like sometime I pray to Jesus, like uh, even my childhood I went to ch church. Yeah. Uh, you know that uh, my childhood when the vacation comes, I go to vacation Bible school, VBS. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, then yeah. I know 
I respect all the religion around yeah, the world, yeah, but yeah. Uh, I'm not much religious, but I'm spiritual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there's only one God, so that's oh, okay. Yeah, and, one, and, yeah. and one and and one God. There's yeah. not too many gods. Yeah. Are you from India? Yeah, from India. Yeah. Okay. I'm from yeah. Southern India, Kerala, where the all the Saint Joseph, uh, Saint Thomas, yeah. like Saint all Thomas, the priests yeah. came in that Kerala, that around the coastal right. area. Yeah, that's right. The sheep, like there are a lot of uh, yeah. Catholic, uh, like hundred, yeah. five hundred, yeah. three hundred, five hundred years Catholic churches, Catholic momentums. Yeah. The French came, the Dutch came, all the priests came. Like, mm -hmm. uh, it's a very historic uh, place. Yeah. yeah. I was raised Catholic too, and I'm oh, not okay. anymore Catholic. Oh, okay. I've changed my mind. Start reading the Bible, and I saw things that quite different than what the Catholic was teaching me. Oh. I said, there's something wrong here. Try to, uh, try to ask the priest why you guys teach this. The Bible teach that. And they didn't really know how to answer. <laughs> so I questioned them and challenged them. They were a little bit upset. So, and besides, they even told us not to read the Bible. They didn't even want us to read the Bible. Now I found out because we would have found something that's not white. It doesn't coincide with the, their teaching era. So I'm a Bible believer, Bible obeying, born again Christian. That's all I am. I don't even belong to any denomination. I just belong into uh, the body of Christ, Jesus Christ himself. Just like the Apostle Paul and Peter. So what is this? this oh, I put that on the YouTube oh. as my ministry uh, for other people to... Uh, to see what I'm doing so they can learn and uh, I'm preaching to people that I see personally but also those who are on YouTube they will hear what I'm doing what I'm preaching yeah. I'm trying to spread the gospel oh, yeah, the yeah, good news good, yeah. as far as I, 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 I can so with the technology we have today it's worldwide yeah. we're able to preach the good news to the whole world right now because of that not just by people are, are, uh, that I meet personally by the way what's your name? Uh, Dilip Dilip, nice yeah. meeting you, nice Dilip. You. My name is Jean Pierre. Yeah. Are you here from? Ah uh, uh, no, I have an appointment here. This is a clinic. I'm just waiting. Oh, clinic. For, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, you like, gotta wait for your appointment. Yeah. So it's oh. nine ten. Yeah. Okay. Well, something wrong? Like a? Ah uh, no, like uh, I just need to do some analysis with the doctor. I just do some blood work. Okay. Yeah. You know this is a clinic. No, I didn't know oh, that. No, this no. is a clinic actually. Yeah. The yeah. so doctor's well, house. Yeah. I'll pray for you then. I'll pray yeah. that your your health comes back. Yeah. And see. Uh, uh, I don't have any major health problems, okay. but uh, I do have some cholesterols, high end cholesterol, uric acid. Uh, okay. Then I do have some uh, small liver problems. Okay. So that's what yeah, I do. Yeah. Some uh, yeah. blood work and consult with the doctor for further appointments and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have problem too, but not too serious. I, yeah. I'm a borderline diabetic, okay. uh, high blood pressure and and cholesterol. Yeah. That's my problem. Same to me. Yeah. And I don't watch my diet too. I just, I should. Yeah, but you are almost like more than 55, right? Like uh, then it's okay. Yeah, but I am 40. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm all, a lot older than that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm saying that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because you know what, it's all big, right? Oh, yeah. Don't like worry if people you... Don't, uh, some people don't like, like, uh, say the real age, right? Like, oh, I'm 65, oh, I'm doing... Then I no. said that I'm 55, right? <laughs> you can tell me people if I'm... People always stay, stay, stay healthy and stay young, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Even though they are... Uh, I know, you don't be afraid to, to tell me. You can tell me I'm oh, 80 years old, that's okay. I yeah. wouldn't, wouldn't bother me at all. Well, if, you, if that's 80, it, it, it is. I'm getting old, first of all. You know, I'm not, I need to go right now. I'm not in okay. So they let you in. Okay, okay thank God you. bless you, sir. Bye. Have yourself a good day. <laughs> believe in Jesus. You believe in Jesus? Yeah, he's not. Uh, I'd like to see him uh, angry. Yeah, yeah, we'll do something with the craziness going on in the world. Like the people running this world are a bunch yeah. of demonic freaks. Uh, you better believe it. Yeah, I know. It's, it was called to happen before his second coming. Well, I mean, he's soon to come, as a matter of fact. I don't know when, but uh, this can't keep on going this way. Definitely, he has to put an end to this silliness that's going on. Yeah, it's, it's just like, and it's all the main people in power. We're all like the yeah. one running our country. Now we find out that those mass mandates, the, the travel mandates, were all him. He's a dictator. Yeah. That guy is 
He's, he's very evil. He's spawn of Satan, that guy. Oh. I wouldn't. He's the son of Satan. He's the son of. They all. Are. Uh, he who commits sin is a slave to sin. Is also he's a son of the devil. Yeah. He's definitely the son of the devil. Without a doubt. Like, I mean, uh, he's like his father, unfortunately. Uh, Fidel. Peter. Oh, Fidel. Yeah. Without a doubt. Well, yes, Without he's got doubt. some resemblance in a little bit. Yeah, you know, if you put you, you put half of him on one side and the other one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean. Yeah, Ed Margaret. I and, and the press lied about that story. The first time they met was in 1976. Yeah. And they, they lied and they said that oh yeah, the first time they met was in uh, early 80s for Open Skies or something like this. Yeah. No, I it wonder, was 76. I, you know what they should ask uh, to him if you want to put an end to this, Justin, have a DNA test on you. He okay? would never. If he says no, well that gives your answer. Yeah. He doesn't have to say yes or no. I mean, yeah, he's just, he's just. A no, he's, he's, he's terrible. Look, uh, Everywhere you there's look. a lot of things that I don't agree with. He does. Uh, like if you're a Christian, you do believe in what the Bible teaches you about the sins of the things of the world. Like he promotes so much abortion. I'm yeah. against abortion. I'm pro-life. He support homosexuality. Yeah. He supports your tenacious. What is wrong with that guy? They all do. Like, I was reading a great piece on, uh, uh, glyphosate. It's a gender vector. It's a known gender vector. Mm -hmm. Yet it's used as a, pe as a pesticide on practically everything that we consume. Now, you wonder where all these kids are today who are all gay and transgender. It's, they've been eating stuff yeah. that's, there's great papers on glyphosate. You can read them for yourself. But it's a known carcinogen and it's a known gender bender. Yeah. Yet we spray it on everything. Mm -hmm. So everybody's consuming that. So mm. as a result, you get a lot you of... You mean the vaccine you're talking about or the food we eat? The food we eat. Glyphosate, well, glyphosate is, a, is essentially a Roundup product. They definitely put some stuff in there, definitely. I noticed that, I don't know, this is my own interpretation of my own belief or my own thing that I think that's happening in the olden days women didn't have so many big breasts as they do here right now young girls have breasts like you wouldn't believe yeah. I mean I wonder if it's the food that they put yeah, that in absolutely. or is it Satan himself trying to tempt and the way they are dressed today these women how can a poor young fellow live through his life without being tempted to fornicate or to even to imagine having sex of that woman while dreaming about it in his heart is committing adultery. Just for even thinking of it. That's what Jesus has said. I mean, poor guys out there. Okay, I'm 70. I'm going to be 74 years old. I yeah. taste the cake. I know what sex is all yeah. about. You know, I don't have that novelty like a young, yeah. young buck. He's all wild. He's yeah. all excited. He's got so more uh, terrest testosterone that is go wild, that he, you know, he's tempted all the time. It's hard for young boys these days, but today they don't control themselves anyway. They just go ahead. Yeah. They just go and have yeah, some sex. Oh, we'll just go have an abortion. And the poor girl that should take a little bit further than her nose to, listen, if you're going to have sex with me, protect yourself, do something. Yeah. Not to get me pregnant. I'm the one who's going to suffer for it. Why don't they even think like that, these women? They don't. You know they why? Don't. They use they use they use abortion as contraception. Well, you know why to it. By the way, what's your name? Drew. Bru Drew. Drew. Like Drew. Like I, my name is Jean Pierre. You know the reason why they say they don't care if they're pregnant is because they get it for free. Yeah. You could get it immediately and without paying for it. It's like you say, it's like a toothache, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But they don't realize there's life in there. I don't know what's going on. Oh, uh, it's crazy! It's crazy, Drew. I mean, it's coming to a point where Jesus Christ said, "Like I, I got this. Uh, I'm passing this around. Nobody, nobody are interested in knowing anything. They just ignore me. It's unbelievable for what Jesus Christ did for all of us. Are you a Christian yourself? Yeah. You believe in God? Okay. And what He did for us, He died on a cross so He could be, save us from our sin. And none of these people care what He's done. They yeah. even hate Him. He's the most hated man yeah. in the whole world.
especially it's like it's like it's like somebody you're uh, it's like you you're in the lake you're drowning and you're screaming help 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 I come in and I jump in the water get you out of the water are you going to be my friend after that or are you going to be my enemy or are you going to ignore me you you say yeah. Oh, I'll be your friend. Thanks for saving my life. I appreciate for what you've done. Yeah. I want you to be my friend for the rest of my life. And even if I get beat up, you'll come to my rescue. Well, that's what happened to Jesus Christ today. They don't care about him. Yeah. For what he has, they save us from the drowning of sin, died on a cross, suffering immense pain yeah. for us. That's the love he had for us. And we don't give up back to him. I know people do do look at Jesus Christ. Well, why does he let a child have cancer or this and that? You know, but that is part of of what Adam and Eve did. You know, we're a sinful world. We're a dying world. We brought sin into this world. So you're gonna have that. Are you waiting to get there too? Are you going to the clinic? Oh. Are you uh, working on some? At the event, yeah, I'm working on this stuff right here. Oh, okay. Well, well, what do you do? You just do some renovation? No, the whole exterior. Exterior? Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, the white stuff, you paid that? Wow, that's a good job you guys do. Yeah, it's all the, that's all a lot of problem. paint. The the you use a roller for that? Or? Well, with the Finally, we, at the end, you paint it, but there's a lot of steps. There's, I gotta take it all back to original and then waterproof it, and then uh -huh. put the te te texture on it, and then paint it. You're not alone doing that, are you? Yeah, I am. <laughs> you're uh, your own uh, boss? I'm my own boss. Uh, is that what you do all the time? Paint homes? That's it. That's, that's my world. You paint inside the house too? No, no, no. Oh, just the outside? No, cement work. I just do cement. Oh, okay. But how many homes uh, need to be painted, though? Uh, this is... Uh, I, I mean, I guess you could paint any kind of house, even uh, yeah, on bricks if you want to. As a matter old, of... The old texture had to be ground off, though, okay. so you got to grind it. That's a lot of yeah. work. Get it all back to original. That takes forever. And then i got to waterproof it. Yeah. So i got to trowel on a waterproofing membrane. Yeah. And then I put on the cement. Then that dries. Then I paint it. I paint it at yeah. the very end. That yeah. only takes a second. Yeah, okay. All the work before that. You know, uh, I, ha I have a neighbor across the street. He had his house. It's made out of brick painted outside. Yeah. Great color. I suppose it, mu it must be a special paint that it won't, yeah, will never peel. Be. Will never yeah, it's got to breathe too, eh? It's not good to paint brick. Yeah, yeah. If, if, if it can't breathe, then it'll all start to spall around you. It won't last yeah, long. Yeah. All, and the brick will fall apart. Yeah. you got to have a... Yeah. Kind of well, it's been a pleasure, Drew, to talk to yeah, you. Yeah, good luck with yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Like that's a that's a lonely battle, the one you're on. Yes, I could see a lot of things going on. I mean, it breaks my heart, Drew, to see how many people are on their way to hell. Jesus said, "Many are taking the wide road of destruction; very few take the narrow road of life." He meant it, and he, he knew what he was talking about. Yeah. That's to prove right there that the Bible was inspired by God. It could not be written by a man who didn't know anything about the future. Yeah. Look, Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, Isaiah, 700 years predicted the coming of Jesus Christ, the Messiah. 700 years. And he predicted and described him to the letter. And who could have told him that? Obviously, God. Anyway, well, yes, I it's unfortunate. Uh, you see, it takes a person to go out and see what's going on. Any, and we got to be ready. we got to be ready to meet him on that day. Because uh, if you're not ready, if we're not ready, we'll be crying to the mount to bury us. We wouldn't want to face him because his, his anger will be so immense. Now that's why i got this picture. He's coming like a warrior. And see his blood all over? He's got a, well, he won't wear a sword. He's got a, a two edges, sharp two edges, um, Tongue, tongue. Uh, what is the word? A double-edged sword, which is his tongue. All he has to say, die, and you'll die. He won't need a weapon. But if he wants a weapon, he could come with a weapon. But like he said, he did kill 
a fig tree just like that. He just by speaking to it, he eh? cursed it. The next day it died. He had the control, he calmed the storm. There's no other man, nobody can name me another person who did exactly what Jesus Christ did. Nobody has healed like he healed. The blind, the sick, the paralytic, was able to, to forgive sin, calm the storm, rise up dead people who were in the grave for three days, died on a cross, rose again. I mean, if you see somebody that does that, wouldn't that tell you? Yes, you are. You definitely are a son of God. Only you could do that. Walk on water? Well, like I said, there will be a lot of... Of course, people won't believe that because that's beyond their comprehension. Yeah. They don't believe in miracles. They're, they're people who only believe what they see. Anyway, Drew, I think you want to go back. I don't want to keep you up there. Anyway, I appreciate you. God bless you. Okay. God bless you, sir. Have a good day. Do you want this card to read? Are you Catholic? What kind of religion? Uh, Catholic. You're Catholic? Yeah. Well, I was I a was Catholic. Before, I was baptized over at St. Basil's. Yeah. Uh, but I could tell you something about the Catholic religion. Baptism, infant baptism doesn't count. Yeah. You have to be born again. You've got to be an adult. A child doesn't know what's right and what's wrong. He's not, a child, when a child is born, he's not a sinner. He hasn't committed any sin. So there's no need for him to be baptized. The only time it's required to be baptized, Jesus Christ was baptized at the age of 30. He wasn't baptized as a baby. Of course, it was not baptism in the Mosaic law. You had to be circumcised at an early age. But uh, no, baby baptism means nothing. All the baby is getting just a wet ba uh, bat. You have to know what's right and what's wrong. You've got to have the, the knowledge of what's right and right, what's wrong. You realize you make a mistake. You sin. You realize you need a savior. And after that, you realize, oh, who's going to save me? Well, in order to be saved, you have to be born again, to be baptized in water, immersed in water, just like Jesus Christ. When you go underwater, you die. When you come out of the water, you raise, you, be, you ra raise up, and you receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit comes down in you and resides in your spirit. That's the only time you can be saved. If you don't receive the Holy Spirit, I have the Holy Spirit. I'm not bragging, but that's what the Bible says. When you're born again Christian, you're baptized, receive the Holy and you forsake your sin. I don't sin anymore. People might think you're crazy. I don't believe you. Nobody can stop sinning. Yes, they can stop sinning. If you have the Holy Spirit residing in you, you can conquer sin. Jesus says, come to me, all you who are faith heavy laden and burdened and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I'm gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your soul, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. His burden is so light right now. I'm not tempted. I used to gawk at girls especially when they were immodestly dressed. I look at them, and I visualize having sex with them in my mind. That's a sin. That's adultery. I don't do that anymore. It doesn't bother me anymore. And I can't put that in my mind. If I take uh, that in my mind, I dream about it, then I do sin. That's severe, severe. Jesus Christ came with new laws, you know, a lot stricter. You don't have to do it. Just to think about it is a sin. Even calling your brother a, a fool or things like that, you commit the mur murder in your heart. Just as the same. That's a sin and not to send you to hell. Lying is another sin. One lie will send you to hell. That's why I say to parents who tell their kids at Christmas time, there's such a thing as Santa Claus. That's lying. You're going to go to hell for that. Because all liars will have their part in the lake of fire. Every liars doesn't matter if it's a fib or a white lie or a kid says to their mother No, I didn't take that. I didn't eat that cookie in the cookie jar and she asked you and you did you die in that instance That's severe That's shocking you will end up in hell And I'm not a Catholic anymore because the Bible and the Catholic religion don't coincide They teach something different. They say that Mary was a perpetual virgin. The Bible says no she had four sons and daughters after Jesus Christ. 
There's no purgatory, uh, Drew. There's no such place as purgatory. Jesus never mentioned about purgatory. Now here the Catholic tells you there's a place called purgatory. You have a second chance. No. That's a bad teaching because you know that what makes people think when they say this burger, oh, I can keep on sitting. I have a second chance. No, you suppose you should stop sitting. Jesus said to the adulterers, go and sin no more. He didn't say go and sin, try not to sin or sin less. He says go and sin no more. Or to the paralytic when he saw him a second time at the temple, go and sin no more or less trouble, worse thing will come to you. What is that worst thing? I was paralyzed for 30 years, 40 years. What's so important, what's so terrible about more and terrible than that? Hell, my friend. For eternity. All right, have a good day. Ah, Father. We'll pray for him too. Pray for all those I met today, even those oh, Father, Father, Father. You know, it's so discouraging to see so many, so many souls don't realize they're on their way to hell. They don't realize they're on their way to hell. They're blind. They need a wake-up call. You know, it's fine to go out and preach to everybody you meet on the street, but most of them don't want to hear you. And look at all the amount of those souls I'm missing the opportunity to tell them. The truth. They don't want to hear. They don't want to stop or to hear what you say. So I really can't reach to them like I want to. I miss those opportunities to talk to them. It's almost like, you know, Father, it almost seems like it's a waste of my, of my day, but I know it's not a waste in a way because your voice will not come back void. Whatever I said here might be said to somebody else in some other part of the world. But, you know, for a street preacher, it's discouraging to see so many of those souls don't want to hear anything about Jesus, about your son. <laughs>